on everybody see here welcome back to some more colony survival we're helping these guys take off the last bit a wave of these guys now we actually had a horrible terrible thing happen one of these little guys got through and it killed one of my guards there's supposed to be a guard here they're gone because they could not uh they couldn't hold the post anyways we are going to start getting some stuff done today hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things this is colony survival if you're interested in the game you want to check it out link down below but uh, a couple things I want to do is we got to toggle up some research here. So let's go ahead and let's get the uh, the tailor going. We're going to start that up. We're going to try to get research knocked out here so we can get other things going. Now, Taylor, I believe, is going to unlock um, flax seed, which is going to unlock linen. So we're going to have to do that. And I think we're actually going to start building some farms going down underground because, I mean, why not? But we've got to uh, we've got to take a look at our defenses here because they're just they're just not great. They're just not great. So how far out oh we can go out pretty far here um oh dutch delicacy i got we got something we got something did we get was a lobster cooked fish something i don't even know but let's get some things going here let's go ahead and get these trees out of the way and then i think what we're gonna do is uh, let's see let's let's flatten do I want to flatten everything? I mean, I guess I kind of do want to flatten everything. I think we need to make like a, we need like make a, a perimeter wall. But we need to, uh, here, let's just take this guy out. Be gone. Um, we need to, we need to make a better maze for these guys. So let's see here. Let's hop back up here. And let's kind of take a peek and think this out. Okay, so ideally we're going to have our guys there regardless. But what I'm thinking is that let's bring this out here and let's go out like this. Maybe because we need to we need to weave. We need to weave these our buddies into an area. You know what I mean? How are you still coming? Like what are you doing here, bud? Okay, so that guy's gone. So I think what we want to do is we want to weave them down, right? I think we kind of want to go... I'm going to space these out. Um, I think we want to go this way. Like this. First. And then... Make them come all the way around. And then do we want to make them swing around back right here, probably? Something like that. So they have to go through here, and then they have to go through here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have... Uh, we're going to put some people up here that can deal with these guys. Yeah, I think this will be good. I think this will work just fine. You know what? I'm going to build these all up to the same height anyways. Might as well. Actually, you know what? I think this is going to be too tall. I think we need to keep it at the minimum height that they can't reach because it's going to give our archers or our, our, our slingers a better opportunity to, like, you know, sling. So this should only be too tall. Okay, I think that'll work. So I'm going to put guards on right here standing here because i don't think they can hit them from here right because that's what we got going on over here yeah they can't come up and hit this guy okay so i think we're gonna end up throwing guards right here i kind of wish i had like i wish i had a double row here though because like i like this because they have to go all the way around and then back so like our guards here will be able to deal with both of them on both sides i just kind of wish the same ones could do you know, have have the opportunity to do two on this side as well. So I think the strategic place to put these is going to be here, here. So you can aim it down this way. They can aim down this way. But then they can also shoot on this side, so on and so forth on this side. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put one actually here and here. We're going to put one on the other side over there too. So like one over there, one over there. So then they can also turn around, shoot these, do some, uh, you know, some pre-damage. 
and then hopefully get those going. So uh, we can only have 50 colonists right now. That's not going to work out for us, though. We, we can't have that. We need more. Colonist capacity. We have 3,000 points. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. We can have 75 now. Heck yes. Let's make this happen, shall we? Actually, we have a bunch of beds, too. Uh, we have a bunch of food. Let's do it. So, actually, yeah. Let's go ahead and recruit the one. And then let's go ahead and get uh, guard. We're going to do nighttime slinger guards. We're going to do one. Let's actually do one here. Actually, should I just have one in the middle? Now nah, we'll have one on either side. So we'll have one there. There. And then let's do a guard and let's do a daytime slinger. There. And there. That'll give us two more guards. I think that'll help. We could throw more over here. You know what? Let's do a daytime one here. And then let's do another nighttime one. All right. So there's all, a whole bunch of new guards. Let's go ahead and get them hired. All right. We should be good um our food is a little low oh my gosh look at them rolling in here holy moly get over here boys we're gonna need you we, we've got a we've got a, a lot of zomboys on our hands over here oh yes get them get them oh my goodness look at them go look at how many there are i think this is much better Oh, yes. The slaying. I think it'll also help once we get bows as well, like bows and arrows. Nice. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There's so many of them. Um, are we going to run out of, out of ammo? You know what? That's something we're going to have to adjust. We need to adjust our pebblets for... Shoot. Uh, sling bullets, 300. Let's go up to 600. Actually, let's go to 500. That'll be good. Okay. So, that looks good. How is this going? Um, cancel. Planks. Flax, copper tools. Oh, I don't have planks. Why do we not have planks? Oh, it's missing flax. We got to start with the flax farm. Okay. Well, shoot. I guess we're going to start with the flax farm then. <laughs> All right. We're going to throw a flax farm up here. Uh, oh, is that not a flax? Uh, flax and herbs. Okay, so we need a flax farm. Um, how big can we make it? Can we make it? Okay, six by one by thirteen. Wait, what? Uh, six by one by fourteen. Six by one by fourteen. Okay. Flax farms! Okay. <laughs> it's happening. It's a thing. Okay, so we'll throw that there. We'll throw some beds in here. All right, so that's good. I was kind of, you know, it's kind of a bummer that, like, they don't even start the research if they're missing that first thing. So, kind of, uh, it's kind of unfortunate. But let's go ahead and get our buddies hired up here. Recruit to fill all jobs. Uh, we can have 75 colonists in total. So, we got to start playing a little bit more careful with our, our colonists here. Well, we're at tw 2,400 points again. So the fish, this has given us a lot of points. So if we go to colony points over here and go to luxuries, uh, points last day, 1,020 max points per day, 870. So we're getting a bunch of points from that, which is super nice. So, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our, should we upgrade our, well, current 3000. What do I need? Well, I need 4,000 in order to go to that colony point efficiency digger area size health uh banner safe zone let's increase our colony point capacity and we'll do that as soon as we hit 2800 actually no let's do our colony point efficiency because then we'll get more points faster you know that sounds like an upgrade to, to get more upgrades okay so since we haven't even started that uh can we do this chicken farming 
Yeah, luxury meal. Oh my gosh, 10,000 points. <gasps> That's a lot. Uh, requires bricks. Unlocks a builder area for construction. Unlocks special digger areas for that. Water. Um, what are what do we have to have for some things? Do we have to have? Okay, so it looks like the tailor is pretty much the next thing that we need in order to like progress on. All right, since so it's about to be nighttime, we're gonna go ahead and start digging some stuff. I keep I keep doing this and taking fall damage. I need to stop. I need to quit it. Uh, but we need to. Uh, I wanna I wanna clear out some of this area down here so we can start building up stuff down here. Okay, so I marked this little area right here to be dug out. So once it's daytime, that'll get dug out. And then we're going to start working on stuff down here uh, because we're going to need more miners. We're going to need all that kind of stuff. And I kind of want to, I want to start having like areas for everybody. So on top of the diggers, I think we could go ahead and use another, um, we can use another cooking station. Where is the cooking station at? Where are you? Was it grill? Oh, right here, stove. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get another one of those in here because I think we can make a more fish. Because we've got uh, we've got 600 raw fish. We only have 31 olive oil, but that's only because our olive oil is capped at 30. And we have 900 olives. Like I think we need to start utilizing the stuff that we have. Uh, and then we I think we're I think we'll be good. And then I do think we need another uh, I think we need another grindstone in here as well. So let's go ahead and put a grindstone in here. And that's because I mean we have 104 wheat just chilling. We can always get more olive oil too. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing to have an extra one of. And then let's see, wait, to enable flight. I don't want to enable flight. <laughs> a monster killed. Oh, no, no, no. That was, that was from the other night. Okay. Um, that looks good. Let's go ahead and get that guy hired up too. Ooh, zero spare beds. You don't say, you don't say. All right, we should be good now. Can we, uh, can we get some, can we get some people in here? Can we get another guy in here? Heck yes. Oh, look at everybody's coming out, going to work, doing the things. These guys are going to be, uh, digging this out and then we're going to be clearing some area. We're going to be clearing some massive amounts of dirt. Did we, uh, did we get flax overnight? <gasps> oh, we did. Look at the little flax flowers. Oh, they're so cute. All right, so we got some flax, which means that linen, uh, the tailor is going to be done here very shortly. That's exciting. That's going to be some more jobs that we can get going. All right, complete that. Let's get uh, beekeeping going. That just requires flax. That's easy enough. Now, uh, a tailor. What does a tailor use? A loom of some sort, right? Okay, so a tailor shop. Um, I don't really know where to put this right now. Let's just kind of set that right there. Linen, linen pouch, linen bag, and white carpet. <gasps> oh, we can get carpet. That's gonna be kind of cool. Wait. How's somebody working there already? Okay, cool. I was gonna say, I was like, how is somebody working there? Oh, somebody is working there. Oh, did they finish the, uh, they must've finished digging down here. Oh, heck yeah, they did. That was super quick of them. Uh, it's very dark and scary in here. I can't see, oh, there we go. Now I can see. All right, we're gonna dig this out and we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a big room in here. All right, construction job, is that the ready? Uh, it's going to basically build that out. It's going to be a big, huge area. All right. So we need to get our, we need to get some other buildings and stuff like that going on in here. I'm thinking what we're going to do. I had this plan and I wasn't sure when we were going to start it, but I think, oh, science beekeeping is ready. Let's go get that. We need to get science going here. Uh, complete that. Okay. So what can we do now? Colony points required coated planks, bronze planks, nails, archery bronze arrow bowstring i don't have any of those traders unlocks trader npcs which accelerate trading to other colonies i don't have other colonies yet so i think we need to wait and see what we can do with the beekeeping but um i want to kind of go around and i want to see i had an idea and basically my idea 
is that we're gonna poke holes in our walls here and i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of make like a little village area over here so i'm thinking it's gonna be something kind of like let's see let's go up here and let's make sure we make these double high that way we don't have any issues and i'm just gonna kind of follow the grass that we already have here and i'm not gonna try to make it symmetrical on the other side i'm not gonna try to do anything like that but I'm going to just kind of like bow this out around and then we're going to put like, you know, little shops and stuff like that in here. Um, and then we can get some, you know, maybe get some of that other stuff organized, get people spread out a little bit and we're not so much on top of each other. And we should, yeah, we should be way good. Okay. So I can go out to like right there and then I need to come back in. Okay. So something kind of like that. And it's just going to be, you know, our little wall out here. And then we're going to have our, uh, we can have like little, little things out here or something, you know, we can try to make like a little road and whatnot. Um, I'm thinking we'll try to keep, should we try to keep some of the trees? We'll try to keep some of the trees and stuff to make it like, you know, look nice. But that's kind of, and everything should be within the safe zone. It is. So let's go ahead and let's kind of, uh, let's get an opening here. Actually, what we should do is we should open it from like right here. So we'll do something like that here. Let me fix this up again. So yeah, now we have a little area out here. We can go out here. We can put up, uh, you know, little buildings and do different, different kind of things. Now the beekeeper, we need to figure out the beekeeper too. Not sure what we got with the beekeeper. Uh, I was expecting some kind of like building of some sort. No. Coated planks. I don't think I have any coated planks. Coated planks are made. They're not made in here. Are they made in here? Oh, they are. Oh, but we need beeswax. Okay. Wait, so what do we need for? Somebody's got to process the beeswax, right? All right. What did unlocking, not the chicken farmer, this. Unlocks beeswax, bowstring, candle, coated planks, adobe, and a beekeeper. It unlocks a beekeeper. Okay, so let's throw the beekeeper maybe over in this area. What is that? Uh, flax and herbs. Uh, forester, not a forester. Food? Beekeeper. Like, what if I want to do like a bee? Oh, too large. What? Oh. So if I did one there. And like maybe right here. All right, so we'll do our little beekeepers right there, I guess. Hmm. Neato. Okay, so this area is nice and lit up now. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, I want to see what these beekeepers do. Um, and then let's see. They're right here. So let's make like a little building right here for them to like live in. And we'll put we'll put the beds and like whatever's in here. Um, actually, here, let's just do it right now throw one there and one there and then let's just fill this in right here and then we'll uh yeah i like this nice little nice little hut for them is that not nice <laughs> i feel like maybe it's not the nicest thing to do to give them like they literally have like a stable <laughs> it's like a house uh, do they need walls? I mean, I guess we could throw some walls in here. There, nice little beekeeping area. And can't, look at that. It's beautiful. I love bee jokes. Like, they just never stop. Oh, no. We're on the bee thing, though. Um, should I just pull it back one? Let's pull it back by one. No, we'll just leave it. We'll, I'll, I'll, adjust the, I'll adjust the farm. There. Okay. B farms are now here. They look good. And then we'll put the, put that there. That looks good. And yeah. Okay, cool. So we got to be a little bee hut right there. See, that's beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and also do this. I want to put a pathway here. So we know like where the farm is. So we know not to mess with it. Now, I know people would have said, oh, why didn't you just remove the tree? Oh, no, no, we don't remove the tree. Leave the tree. Make a path around the tree. 
I don't know why I'm putting this pathway in here, but I think it's going to look beautiful. Um, oh, let's get our people hired up here. Uh, recruit to fill all jobs. Okay. I'm going to finish my pathway. There. And then we can put, uh, you know, whatever else we need to. So that's going to be bee farmers. Now we're going to need people to process said bee stuff. Um, we actually need a bunch of grinders. So I'm thinking about making, maybe we can make like a little grinders building like right over here that are in charge of like grind. Is that, where, is that how beeswax is processed? I don't even know. Oh, those are the little hives. No way. Oh, that's absolutely amazingly perfectly cool. I like how they walk over the <laughs> Just walk right over the top of them. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. They're collecting honeycomb. And I'm guessing that's beeswax. Is this going to expand out for us? I'm kind of curious. I think it is. Is that beeswax and honeycomb? Okay, they're going to store. They're going to store it right now. There's that. And so we got raw beeswax and what was the other stuff it was like honey right honey yeah okay so that's beeswax that's honey what do we do with those is that a grindstone thing not a grindstone thing uh stove thing oh beeswax oh baking okay so that we might need another baker okay so this is why i kind of want to get some more buildings going um i kind of want to get a building for each profession so let's do that let's actually let's do that right now um i, I kind of like this little area that we have here in the middle though for this hmm did you dig this out already holy moly all right so i made this building and i'm trying to make it kind of like this whole area kind of like look like a, you know a whole little shop area um but i think we need to make it i think we need to put a roof on it or we can make it two-story so I'm trying to decide, do we want to build up with this building or do I just build it over here? Cause like I moved the entrance to this underground area to like over here to the side. I thought about building a separate entrance, like directly from here, but I'm trying to like keep the routes back and forth a little bit smaller. So, I mean, you know what we could actually, oh my goodness, this actually works perfectly. Let's do that. And then we have, a, we have another level right here. And then we can continue building up and we can build a whole nother thing right here. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. This actually worked out perfectly. All right, second story is done. Look at that, two stories of people are gonna be able to go up there. I also did the wall, uh, the wall, the wall on here. I did the wood on this instead of all stone. That way you kind of like broke it up a little bit. I did stone on this one though, because you can see it from this side. So I was like, eh, I don't know how that's gonna look. Uh, but I wanna get people kind of like, kind of like moved into their spots i want and i want to do it this way so i can see like how many people we have doing you know each profession or whatever so i kind of have like an idea it's like oh we only have two people doing this five people doing this you know whatever um but i need to figure out how many different positions we have because we've got uh what upgrades we've got the forges we've got workbenches food people actually this this one will probably stay here some of this might might stay but the food person's probably gonna stay here uh we have cooks grinder stove tailor hmm we have quite a few we have quite a few professions here so let's start off with our workbench people because they are kind of like one of the most important ones workbenches where are you workbenches Workbench. Okay. So let's get some workbenches in here. All right. So there's four workbench people. Where are you guys all going? Why are you standing right here at the same side? Can, can you move? Can you guys get out of the way, please? 
No. They can't get out of the way. <laughs> Just get out of the way. <gasps> Go away. I don't know what they're doing. You know, then again, we could also do another row right here of them as well. Hmm. Might actually work perfectly. These guys are supposed to be workbench guys and they, they're just, they're not. Oh, you know what? That also reminds me. Uh, where's Jobs? I had a berry farmer marked down. There we go. 16. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. All right. Uh, grinders. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to do furnaces. We're going to do stoves here. Maybe. Because, like, this is a nice little spot in itself. Yeah, we're going to do grinders up here. Same thing. So there's two more grinders. And then we need more stove. We also need tailors in an area too. Did you guys finally move and figure your lives out? This guy still has no idea what he's doing. How's our, how's our fish stuff going here? Olive oil, fish. Our food is running a little low here, I think. How's wheat? Wheat. Grindstones. We did just add more grindstones. Are you, what are you doing? What is this guy doing? I feel like these guys are broken. If that guy's broken standing there, this guy's broken standing there. All right, then we're gonna throw uh, oven there, oven there. There's those, we'll have three ovens. So we have four workbenches, three ovens, Four grindstones. I do think we need more cooks. And I'm thinking we might actually put cooks right here. In where the other guys were lost. Okay, so let me grab these. Cook in a cook. And that. Let's go and get two more cooks too. Alright, and then there's the other stove. Okay. So we've increased that by quite a bit. We've increased, we need we need another six people in here. I only have six more beds. Um, hmm. Now I'd like to have people sleeping next to the areas, but I mean, this is pretty much as close to the area as they're gonna get right now. You know what, let's get this tailor moved as well. Let's get the tailor moved over here for now. That way it's not over there in its own little area. All right, five more beds went in right there. That's not really exactly what I wanted this area for, but it's here. Might as well utilize it. And we should be able to get our six people hired now. Recruit to fill all jobs. Perfect. And we have two extra beds. How are you guys doing over here? We have 550 ammo. That's good. I was a little bit worried about ammo running a little short, but we're looking good. Looking good now. Everybody's getting their stuff done that they need to get done. Workbenches are going. Grindstones are grinding. Let's go ahead and make more olive oil. Let's go ahead and just put this up to like 150. Olive oil might as well. And I have noticed that our olive oil is getting used up pretty quickly now. And our food is going up very nicely. We have no beeswax. 30 beeswax, 40 or 400 of that bread. How is, okay, wheat is still, we still have wheat. I can't believe we still, well, yes, I can. Look how much olives we have. Oh my gosh, so many olives. All right, so all of these guys are missing firewood here. I guess firewood is the issue. It definitely looks like it might be the issue here. Basic fuel, zero in stockpile. Uh, so they're basically making it as fast as they can because we have Pretty much fish being cooked infinitely and lobster being cooked infinitely. So, oh, yeah. You know, I kind of wish they could use coal. Like, I thought they used to use coal, but I don't know what happened. And do we have enough logs and stuff like that? It looks like we have enough. 
Uh, basic fuel made in a splitting stump. What? What's a splitting stump? We don't have a splitting stump. Is that a researchable item? Oh, it is. What do I need? A technologist? Splitting stump needs log temper or and bronze axe. Ooh. Ooh, that would be nice. Okay, we might have to look into that. Wow, yeah, those guys are gonna be stuck there making nothing but firewood. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna put down some more workbenches. We're gonna put down two more workbenches because I think we need them. And we'll go ahead and we'll get, uh, see, now they're doing tools and stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and get those people hired up. We're about to hit our max again. And, oh, jeez Louise. Yeah, things are going interestingly right now. <laughs> Very interestingly. Okay, so that'll give us two more workers. Our food is looking okay still, but we're going to have to start focusing on food again. But that is actually going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. This is Colony Survival. We're doing some more things, more stuff. And there's a lot left. There's so much to do in this game that we haven't even got into. There's a glider uh, that can take us to, like, entirely new lands. I have no idea, but I want to check it out. And there's also, like, we can start a whole nother colony and, like, trade between colonies. And there's, like, all kinds of crazy cool stuff. And I want to check it out. So, uh, but, yeah, hopefully uh, you all are enjoying. I'm having a fantastic time. And next episode, I have a plan. Um, I think next episode depending on food situation i might let this run a little bit and just kind of see like where our food like sits out at and uh like how much we're making a day but if all goes accordingly we're gonna give our miners some attention these guys right here they've been working hard this entire time getting no love um i started doing a little bit of something something down here as you can see we got some we got some rooms i'm not gonna talk about it too much but yeah we're gonna we're gonna give them make them uh, a nicer little area to work in so um but yes that's all next time thank you so much for coming out Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all the fun things, and I'll see you in the next one.